Chapter 28 Krishna's vow As soon as the news of the slaying of Shishupala by Krishna reached his friend Salva he became very angry and besieged Dwarka with a mighty force Krishna having not yet returned to Dwarka old Ugrasena was in charge of the defense of the city the sieges described in the Mahabharata seem very much like those in wars of the present day Dwarka was a strongly garrisoned fortress built on an island and well provided with means of defense ample barracks had been provided and there was an abundant supply of food and weapons and the garrison included many illustrious warriors Ugrasena imposed a stringent ban upon drinking and amusements generally for the period of the siege all the bridges were demolished and ships were forbid entry into ports in the realm iron spikes were planted in the moats around the fortress and the city walls kept in good repair all entrances to the city were guarded with barbed wire and permits and passwords strictly controlled ingress and egress thus no arrangements were neglected that could further strengthen the city which nature had already made impregnable the pay of the soldiers was increased volunteers for service were rigidly tested before being accepted as soldiers the siege was so rigorously pushed that the garrison suffered great privations Krishna when he returned was struck to the heart at the sufferings of his beloved city and he compelled Salva immediately to raise the siege by attacking and defeating him it was only afterwards that Krishna learned for the first time of the events at Hastinapura the game of dice and the exile of the Pandavas at once he set out for the forest where the Pandavas were living along with krishna went many including men of the boja and vrishni tribes drishtaketu the king of the chedi country and the kekayas who were all devoted to the pandavas they were filled with righteous indignation when they heard of duryodhana's perfidy and cried out that surely the earth would drink the blood of such wicked people Draupadi approached Sri Krishna and in a voice drowned in tears and broken with sobs told the story of her wrongs she said i was dragged to the assembly when i had but a single garment on my body the sons of dhritarashtra insulted me most outrageously and gloated over my agony they thought that i had become their slave and accosted me and treated me as one even bishma and dhritarashtra forgot my birth and breeding and my relationship to them o janardana even my husbands did not protect me from the jeers and the ribald insults of those foul ruffians bhima's bodily strength and arjuna's gandiva bow were alike of no avail under such supreme provocation even weaklings would have found strength and courage to strike the vile insulter dead the pandavas are renowned heroes and yet duryodhana lives i the daughter in law of the emperor pandu was dragged by my hair i the wife of five heroes was dishonored o oh, madhusudana even you had deserted me she stood trembling utterly unable to continue for the grief convulsed her krishna was deeply moved and he consoled the weeping draupadi he said those who tormented you will be stricken to death in the bloody quagmire of a lost battle wipe your eyes i solemnly promise that your grievous wrongs shall be amply avenged i shall help the pandavas in every way you will become an empress the heavens may fall the himalayas may split in twain the earth may crumble or the boundless sea may dry up but i tell you verily my words shall stand i swear this said krishna he took a swalam vow before draupadi this vow it will be seen was in perfect accord with the purpose of the lord's avatars as declared in scriptures for protecting the righteous for destroying the wicked and for firmly upholding the law i am born on earth age after age 
Drishtadimna also consoled his sister and told her how Nemesis would overtake the Kauravas. He said, I will kill Drona. Chikantil will cause uh, Bhishma's fall. Bhima will take the lives of the wicked Duryodhana and his brothers. Arjuna will slay Karna, the charioteer's son. Sri Krishna said, When this calamity befell you, I was in Dwarka. Had I been in Hastinapur, I would never have allowed this fraudulent game of dice to take place. Uninvited, I would have gone there and stirred up Drona, Kripa and the other elders to a sense of duty. I would, at all costs, have prevented this destructive play of dice. When Shakuni was cheating you, I was fighting King Shalva who had besieged my city. It was only after I had defeated him that I came to know of the game of dice and the subsequent sto sordid story. It grieves me that I am not able to remove your sorrows immediately. But you know, some water must be lost before a broken dam is restored. Then Krishna took leave and returned to Dwarka with Subhadra, the wife of Arjuna and their child Abhimanyu. Drishtadyumna went back to Panchala, taking with him the sons of Draupadi.